and then Augsburg are going to score an equaliser to get with their second shot on target. But Martinez, oh my word! He's done exactly the same thing twice in a row. What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan and welcome to episode 4 of the Bayern Beta Save. We are in 7th place in the league which for Bayern Munich is absolutely terrible. But if we do win, we'll only go 3 points behind Borussia Dortmund at the top of the league. Champions League wise... We did draw against uh, Inter Milan. No, we lost to Inter Milan. We did draw against Ajax. So we are three points behind Ajax and Inter. But we do play Valencia today. And with Ajax and Inter playing as well, we should be hopefully be able to get into a Champions League qualification spot for the round of 16. Since you last left us, we have gone unbeaten, but the performance is still not quite right. We beat Köln 2-0, Kimmich was a screamer, and Lewandowski in the 83rd minute. Paderborn 2-0, they had a man sent off. No, it wasn't that game, they had a man sent off, it was a Köln. One team had a man sent off, but Coutinho and Muller grabbing the goals there. We did draw in the Champions League with a 93rd minute equaliser from Ajax. It wasn't the best showing, if I'm honest. We scored early on, but we didn't really do much with it. But we did beat Hoffenheim 2-1. That was the game we had the man sent off in, with Muller and Goretzka scoring the two goals we needed for all three points. So we've got Augsburg away from home, followed by Valencia in the Champions League today. So for the first game, we do have Augsburg, and this will be the lineup. For that game, we have Manuel Neuer in goal, Hernandez, Martinez, Boatang, and Kimmich at the back, Thiago and Tolisso in the middle, Nabri, Coutinho, Kingsley Coman, and Lewandowski up front. We've changed from control possession to tiki taka because control possession just wasn't doing anything for us. We just weren't getting any real shots, so we have gone to tiki taka. As far as injuries go, we do have a few players out at the moment. Pavard, well, Pavard's the only player that's out for one to two days. But we are having a few people that are coming back from injury, including Thomas Muller. He's now back. Sule should be coming back in the next few games. So we are starting to see a fully fit Bayern Munich side. But we are going to get the game underway against Augsburg. We should be able to win. They are in woeful form. But we just don't look like a team that wants to score goals at the moment. But that is the side. We are going to give a, just a calm. I expect us to win to keep our good run going. I have faith in the side. The team are happy. And we are going to get this game underway. It is a Bundesliga match with a win putting us three points behind Borussia Dortmund. Can we turn this form round and see the normal Bayern Munich dominating our teams? As we get a free kick, eight minutes in, it's going to be for Augsburg into the box. Thiago falls down, but Yedvaj into the box, and it's Eda, and it's gone wide of the goal. Still nil-nil. 21 minutes, and it's Augsburg again on the ball. They are at home, though, so they are the home side, but we're bloody Bayern Munich. We should be dominating this game, which we've had five shots, one on target. Augsburg only have that one shot which they did put wide of the goal, but we win the ball back. Taliso, Kingsley Coman, back to Kimmich, over the top for Coman to chase. Coman's in the box, he's one-on-one, -on -one, and he buries it in the goal. It is 1-0 to Bayern Munich, and we've had a very good start to this game with a goal in the 22nd minute. This is the Bayern Munich I want to see, and this is the Bayern Munich that's going to put us into fourth place. But obviously, we do want to win the Bundesliga this season. And if we we could get sacked if we don't win the Bundesliga. But Coman puts us 1-0 up. Looking good so far. As we get a free kick from Coutinho. Headed away. But we will get that back with Thiago. Plays it to Tolisso. Coutinho's gone out wide. Keeps the ball in play. Plays it to Thiago. Takes a touch. Has a shot. But puts it wide. Still only 1-0. 32 minutes in, Augsburg from the free kick. Looking at the stats, it's been all by Munich. They've still only had that one shot at the start of the game. As Combe on the goal scorer goes out wide, switches the flank. Something I've seen a lot of the beat do is teams switching flanks. 
As they switch the flanks again, Coleman's one-on-one. He should have made it 2-0. Kingsley Coleman and a right back just switching the flanks constantly. But Thiago from the corner whips it in and is headed away as far as Nabry. Back to Thiago and it's again for Lewandowski as Nabry puts it over the bar. 38 minutes, Coutinho from the free kick. Lewandowski's on his own to Nabry and Lewandowski unselfishly heads it across goal and Serge Nabry makes it 2-0 to Bayern Munich. And this is probably the most convincing performance we've had so far in this save. Lewandowski, he unselfishly passes it to Nabry. Easy tap in. It's 2-0. And we're going into halftime looking like Bayern Munich. Looking like how we should. Dominating teams, keeping the possession, and actually doing something with it. So I'm going to say I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. As we do go into the second half. Throw in 47 minutes in from Kimmich. Coutinho. 1-2. As he gives it back to Taliso. Long pass but it is intercepted by Yedvaj. And now the striker Gregorch is on the ball. Vargas. Augsburg trying to do a counter attack here. But they have plastered back to the defence as Kimmich wins the header. Coutinho back to Thiago. Looking for options. He gives it out wide. Can Kimmich switch the flanks again? No, he gives it to Koeman. Comes back inside. Lovely long ball to Lewandowski. One-on-one -on -one and he hits the post. Should have been 3-0. We are dominating this game. 54 minutes. We start with a throw. And it's Kimmich to Boatang. Back to Kimmich. Keeping the ball. Just waiting for the opportunity. Yavi Martinez. Boatang. Just keeping it at the back. But he's lost the ball. Kedria shoots. And Kedria scores. And that is a massive mistake from Boatang at the back. Well, was it Boatang or was it Martinez? Either way, one of them has made an absolute huge error here. Boatang on the ball, gives it to Martinez. Oh, yeah, it's Martinez has made them error here. And it's a first shot on target for Augsburg. And they've pulled the goal back. 2-1 now. 65 minutes. I'm a little bit concerned that both of our centre-backs are playing very poorly. But a third goal should seal the three points here. As Nabry back to Hernandez. Can he cross it? He can. Lewandowski puts it wide. We're still looking for that third goal. Thiago though on the ball. 67 minutes. The way this game's going is that we're going to have loads of shots off target. Never score the third goal. And then Augsburg are going to score an equaliser with their second shot on target. But Martinez. Oh my word. He's done exactly the same thing twice in a row. What did I say? Martinez has done the same mistake twice in a row. He's just given the ball away. What are you doing, Yavi Martinez? Twice in a row he's given the ball away and we've conceded two goals. We've been hammering their goal and we've conceded two. Unbelievable. He's now on a 4.8. Yavi Martinez... Get off the pitch. Just get off the pitch. Anybody is better than you at the moment. Pavard's injured, but he would be better than you. We'll move uh, Hernandez out to set the back. Alaba can come on for left back. Two massive mistakes. And now we're drawing 2-2. Two -two. Unbelievable. 6.4 for Neuer. 6.2 for Boatang. 4.8 for Yavi Martinez. It's 2-2. Two -two. Throw in from Kemek to Liso. We've looked such the better side, but for two stupid mistakes from Martinez, we are now... They've had two shots on target and scored both of them because of mistakes. Kemek finds Kingsley Coman. We are peppering their goal with shots. We just cannot find the goal. 86 minutes. If we draw this game, unbelievable if we draw this game. I, I said before the second goal went in for Augsburg... You know, we're absolutely hammering the goal with shots. We're dominating the game. We just need a third goal. We've lost the ball again. We've lost the ball again. And our centre-backs are just being exposed way too much. How are we drawing this game? Like, our defence have put an absolutely shocking performance in today. And it looks like we're still not going to win. 86 minutes. It's all Augsburg now. Coburn plays it away. It's a free kick. I can't believe us actually got on in this game. Our whole defence 
has been shocking today. We were 2 0 up at half time. They've only had three shots on target, and all three came from our defenders losing the ball. Coutinho now has a long shot over the bar. Unbelievable. I, I seriously think I'm going to be sacked of Bayern Munich manager because the, we just have not turned up in any game whatsoever this season. As to say, off camera, we, we drew in the 94th minute against Ajax. We've thrown this game away. Two mistakes leading to goals. Three shots on target. Two of them being the ball given away. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I cannot believe this game. <sighs> wow. We, so we're 15.5 point, points behind Borussia Dortmund. We failed to make chances pay. We should have scored the third goal. But it just never came. And we look at the competitions and yeah. Eight games played, four wins, three draws and a loss. If we continue the way we're going, I'm going to get sacked as Bayern Munich manager. But I can't get over that game. But we're going to try and get over that game as we move on to Valencia in the Champions League where I would say this is a must-win game if we're going to try and qualify from our Champions League group. I have completely changed our centre-back partnership after that horrendous last game. Pavan and Sule come in. They're both not fully fit, but... I'd rather have them than have Martinez in my team, who's not even in the squad. Not even in the squad. I can't trust him. But I do want to put Muller in the squad, so you can swap there. But other than that, Perisic comes in as the inverted winger. Very much a similar side, really. But those two centre-backs, I think, are the side that uh, I needed to replace, to be honest with you. But we go up against Valencia at home. We really need to win this game if we're going to have a chance to qualify from this Champions League group. We haven't started the best. I'm going to give an aggressive, well, an assertive. We should be winning this one fairly comfortably. I'm going to leave her at that. But we do go into our Champions League group. We do need a win. We haven't got it up here yet. It should come up, hopefully. Maybe not. But can we get revenge on that last game and pick up a win that we should have got against Augsburg? But is Valencia the start to move off? Hernan oh, Hernandez has missed the interception, but Neuer, what is going on with this defence? What is going on? Goal kick from Sillerson. Eight minutes in, Sule headers it, but it's a poor ball, but Perisic wins it back. Thiago to Taliso. He's got loads of room in front of him. Can he pick out a pass? Goes up wide to Kimmich. Can Kimmich cross it? He can. Anybody there? Only as far as Mangala. As Guedes to Costa. Valencia now on the ball. Long ball upfield. Rodrigo beats all the defence. He's in the box. Takes a shot. And Noya tips it round the post. And the early signs are it is all Valencia at the moment. And Costa from the corner nine minutes in. Gets in the box. Rodrigo the header. Perisic off the line. Loads of shots flying in. But we have managed to so far keep it to nil-nil. As it's all Valencia at the moment. We are not doing very well in charge of Bayern Munich right now. But Coburn in the box loses it way too easily. Is that the end? That is the end. But we do get a free kick from Coutinho. Bends it round the post. Still nil nil. All Valencia at the moment. As we get another highlight. They are not stopping at the moment. As Gabriel with a free shot makes it 1-0 to Valencia. I cannot say that hasn't been coming. And uh, I don't know what's going on with this Bayern Munich side. I really, really don't. I thought Tiki Taka might... Oh, not Tiki Taka. Um, no, yeah, Tiki Taka I'm playing now. Maybe a bit better than control possession. He's onside. He's way onside. Our whole defence lines up. And after this highlight, I'm going to look at our line of engagement because we just seem to be losing it all the time. By balls over the top. So maybe we need to dial back the line of engagement for our defence. Because we're losing it way too easy. But Coutinho gives it out wide to Perisic. And uh, oh, look at all those look at those players for Valencia behind the ball. Hernandez crosses it in. Trying to find Lewandowski. Taliso with a long shot. And it's 1-1. We are back in the game. And it's a stunning long shot to be feared from Taliso. But... 
come on, boys, we got to turn up. We've If we don't do this, we could be out of the Champions League if we do not get a result in this game. Hernandez crosses it, headed away. Tolisso on the volley, makes it 1-1. And we are back in this game. 34 minutes. I've got the league table up in the corner now, so we can actually see what it means for the group. Inter Milan look like to be in the lead against Ajax. They are 2-0 up, actually. So if we can get a win, we will go up into second place, I would think, with a win today against Valencia. Well, we'll go. Well, we'll, no, we'll be third still, because Ajax have got a better head-to-head -head than we've got. But Tolisso to Kimmich. Come on, can we get a goal before half-time? Coutinho to Thiago. Lovely short pass in here. Coutinho plays it wide to Kimmich. Can he cross it? Finds Thiago again. Theo Hernandez from left back. Come on, we're just looking for that killer ball. Coutinho to Kimmich. Lovely pass in here from Bayern Munich. But it doesn't end in a goal. And that's our problem. It's putting the ball in the back of the net is our problem. Defensively, before the last game, we were doing very well until Martinez decided to self-destruct in our defence. But I'm going to give an aggressive. I'm not happy with that performance. And as far as subs from the bench, we've got Goretzka, Nabry, or Alaba, or Muller, I would say. There's no one really I want to bring off right now. So we're going to give it 15 minutes just to see if we can try and grab that second goal and go a little bit more attacking. Throw in from Kimmich to Coutinho, trying to find Lewandowski. Back to Thiago. Finds Perisic in the box to Lewandowski. And that is 2-1 to Bayern Munich. We'll dial it back to positive. We don't need to go attacking anymore. But that will put us on four points in the group. And we will be level with Ajax. Which hopefully we can try and get something out of. And make the round of 16 of the Champions League. We are minimum expectation to make the semi-finals. But the way we're playing at the moment, it's not going to happen. But we are 2-1 up. As we get a throw in for Valencia. Garay plays it all the way back to the goalkeeper. To Silasen. Gives it to the defender. The goal scorer, Gabriel. I think he used to play for Arsenal back in the day. Coman though. We just want a third goal. Because like we did in the last game against Augsburg. We just need that third goal to seal things. So we don't have to have Yavi Martinez errors. Make sure we concede goals. But we play it out to Hernandez. Hernandez, long ball to Coman in the box. Can he cross it? He tries to, but it is blocked as Guedes now. Long ball over the top to Rodrigo. I've been worried about this all game. And I think we need to sort our line of engagement out, which I'm going to sort out now. But we're being caught way too often over the top. So I'm going to bring it back a little bit just to make sure we don't get caught with long balls. 64 minutes. It's a free kick. And who's going to take it? It's going to be Philippe Coutinho. 2-1. Makes it 3-1 from the free kick. Phil Coutinho, the little magician, makes it 3-1. And that should seal all three points for Bayern Munich in this Champions League group. Lovely free kick from Phil. Gets it in the net. Surely we can't throw this away. 72 minutes. Let's make some changes. Coutinho's looking tired. We'll bring Tom Muller on for you. Anybody else? Kimmich looking tired. Hernandez. We'll bring Hernandez off. We'll bring Alaba on for you. And then either Perisic or Coman, I think we'll bring off. So Paris is looking tired. Although Thiago and Tolisso are looking tired. So I'll bring on maybe Goretzka for Tolisso. He's on a yellow card. So three changes. 20 minutes to go. 76 minutes. Kimmich finds Thomas Muller. The Bayern Munich legend. Off the bench to Thiago. Switches the flanks, which seems to happen a lot in this game. I could have pulled the goal back now as well, so that'll be interesting if that ends up in a draw. But Kimmich on the right hand side with a long shot. Joshua Kimmich with a long shot. And that is 4 1 to Bayern Munich. And we are going to walk away with the three points in this Champions League game. A result that was very much needed after that absolute collapse in the Bundesliga. Long shot from way out. Makes it 4-1. What a goal by Joshua Kimmich. Goal kick from Sillerson. 79 minutes. A lot of highlights in this game. As Kimmich gives it to Coman. Plays it back to the right back. 
Switches flanks to Perisic. Muller plays it back to Thiago. I'm liking the little, you know, marks on the pitch. So you can tell that it's been a, you know, the pitch does wear and tear over time. As Muller, Perisic, lovely short pass in here from Bayern Munich as we lose the ball. But we do win it back though. Muller to Alaba. Thiago, Thomas Muller. I think every player this Bayern Munich side has touched the ball in this move. Alaba now from left back. Perisic to Thiago to Goretzka with a shot. And that's a lovely save from Silasan. Either tipped it onto the crossbar or it hit the crossbar. Unlucky. 85 minutes, five minutes to go before full time. I think we have taken it up a notch with this performance. We should have played like this against Augsburg. But if it wasn't for Martinez, we would have won that game. But Thiago plays it short to Thomas Muller. Back to Alaba from left back. Thiago looking for a killer ball here. Perisic plays it to Thomas Muller. Goretzka with a long shot. Over the bar. Goretzka not getting those shots on target. Coming up to full time. It does look like it's going to finish 4-1 to Bayern Munich. Good performance. We did need that after the poor performance against Augsburg. But more importantly, Inter Milan did beat Ajax 2-1 in the group. We do get some money. Kimek, you did, did play very well. Your passing was a joy to behold. And if we look at that Champions League league table now, we are in third. But more importantly, we are now on level points with Ajax. So halfway through... We still do have a chance to qualify, but we need to get some results against Ajax and Valencia, maybe even against Inter Milan, if we do stand a chance of getting out of the group. So I think what we'll do is we will come back for either Inter Milan or Ajax, depending on which game is going to get us through to the next round of the Champions League. So it's either going to be Fortuna Dusseldorf and Inter Milan, or Mönchengladbach and Ajax. One of the two. It all depends on what games we need to win to hopefully get out of our Champions League group. So I'll leave you with that view of the league table and our Champions League group. Still very bitter about that league game, I will be honest. Javi Martinez has absolutely screwed us over. But, you know, because we could have been in like third place if it wasn't for that game. Only three points behind Dortmund. But now we do have to play catch-up to try and win the Bundesliga. We are, we should be winning the Bundesliga this season, but we are five points behind. But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. We'll be uploading the Buy and Beta every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. GMT. Oh, I think it's only going to go one season for the Buy and Beta. But tune in next time, my friend, as we try and improve our league position and qualify for the Champions League round of 16. Thank you very much for watching.